Hi, it's Cameron Reynolds. So, pretty excited about this video. This is episode two on the Beetle Blaster Small Hive Beetle Test. And, you know, nothing real fancy with the test. You can get really a technical with data. Sometimes you need to. Uh, not in this case. Um, you can see it with the naked eye. So, this colony right here, we've had the Beetle Blasters, two of them, in for over a month and a half. Now, we just released the video that comes before this one yesterday. So check that out if you haven't. So it'll show you how we put them in there and what we did. Nothing super fancy, but this trap right here had diatomaceous earth in it. That's it. This one right here has just plain vegetable oil. So we placed those, if you haven't watched the other video, over and one over here and one over here. Now we've, we don't, haven't put the hive back together yet. The flow's going very good right now, by the way. Awesome fall flow. So it was a little tedious with the Dow Tomaceous Earth. Just be careful because this stuff, um, when it gets in the air, is not good for you to breathe in. So, you know, oh, if you open it up and count them, make sure you have a dust mask on at least. And so we got this like almost mud substance in there. I don't know what that came from. I, I, I have no idea. I'm thinking it's just debris from the hives because some of this in here is debris. You actually see little pieces of... Um, like a bee wing, there's a bee wing down in there. And bees die inside the hive, it happens. And sometimes they have to rip them apart almost to get them out. And you know, when we're going through our inspections, if we crush one that we don't see at the bottom of the frame when we pick it up, um, then they have to pull them apart sometimes to haul them out. So anyways, that's where all the debris comes from. But this one right here with the vegetable oil has about 24 small hive beetles in it. And this has been about a little under two months. So that's pretty good. This one over here, which we put them both in at the same time, it took a, a good bit of going through this, and if anything, I felt like I went below what actually was in there. It was really hard to tell with some of the really tiny ones and how covered they are with the diatomaceous earth, but I counted at least 30 in the diatomaceous earth. So keep that in mind. So you can use either one of those. They both seem to work really well. So if you're wanting to control small hive beetles, which I highly recommend you do, Prevention is the most important thing that you can do for your bees. Keep those mites low at all times. Don't let them grow really big like we did that test colony over there. That's a good way to lose bees. Don't let your small hive beetle populations get up in the 50s and 70s and 100s if you can prevent it because it's going to make it harder to feed patties. I mean, if the bees have hundreds of beetles running around the hive, it's going to be hard to feed those patties. But if you're knocking them back like this, you're not only keeping them out of your hive, but you're also keeping them from being able to reproduce and make more and it really adds up down the road. So anyways, these actually worked better than I thought they would. It's been years and years since I've tried one. Again, we had a nice strong colony and all those healthy bees are just harassing them and harassing them and they just go right down into these little channels right there and just die, which is exactly what we want. So letting the bees corral them into a corner and it's it's funny you'll see I see it all the time maybe you guys don't see it as much as I do because I have a lot of colonies to go through but when I like pull a lid you'll see them like right at the edge of the lid where the bees have them hemmed up against the corner I'll see them down in my frame feeders when I don't have traps in them they'll have them corralled down in the frame feeder they keep them away from all the food and the brood so anyways you might want to look into trying some of these out there's a lot of different methods out there ultimately most of them will work if you use them correctly but I'm going to leave a link down below where you can get some of these pretty darn cheap. And if you have any comments or questions about using Beetle Blasters, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Talk on it.